are getting excited, guys. The Grammys, they are happening this Sunday right here on CBS 11. Yeah, just a couple of days away. And while the show is about singers and celebrities, one of the nominees is a teacher with a big love of music from a small town about 90 minutes west of Fort Worth. Here's Karen Borna. And one, two, three, four. Band practice is underway for the jazz ensemble at Eastland High School. At the helm, band director Stephen Cox. We do the call and response thing again, and right now, he's the call, you're the response. He's taught Heath Slavens for six years. So when the senior saw an opportunity to honor his longtime teacher, he took it. He called me aside, and I thought I was getting in trouble. And then he was like, did you nominate me for a thing? And I was like, oh, yeah, I did. That thing is the Grammy's 2020 Music Educator Award. It's humbling, I guess, would be the right words. Out of 3,300 entries, Mr. Cox is one of just 10 finalists being recognized for their contributions to music education. His students are not surprised. He has always just gone above and beyond to make sure everyone in the program has all the resources that they need to succeed as much as they can. What I love about Mr. Cox, honestly, is just um, how he encourages and just like pushes the band to like, get better. I love he's very passionate. He cares a lot about the band. He cares a lot about us like as students and wants us to succeed. And he's bringing new ideas to Eastland. One of his biggest projects was inspired by the town's annual rib cook-off. And so we're like, well, what if we bring in a bunch of jazz bands? Because nothing goes better than jazz and barbecue. The Eastland Jazz Festival now draws middle, high school, and college bands from around the region. Band practice is all about timing, coordination, and dedication. Lessons Mr. Cox hopes the teens will take with them long after they lay down their instruments. You know, if a kid walks in and the band program is, you know, one of the hardest challenges they faced, you know, that's really good for them because life is going to be harder. And while they don't always hit the right note, what was that? Mr. Cox says, he wouldn't have it any other way. You get to show up every single day and make music, and you get to share that with people who are experiencing it for the first time, and that's, that's just really special. Like, I'm fortunate to be able to do that. And of course, you can tune in to see if he wins the Grammy Awards again uh, this Sunday right here on CBS 11. All of that begins at 7 o'clock, by the way. So we're going to have the show, a little pre-show, yeah. a lot of fun on Sunday. And so much talent that we're getting to see showcased from right here in North Texas yeah. this week as we kind of get everybody pumped for it. All right.